Colorado native Tom Tancredo grew up one of three children in a hard-working blue-collar family. His mother, a clerk for Jocelyn's department store in downtown Denver, and his father, a meat packer and truck driver. Both needed to work to make ends meet. It was enough to teach Tom a lasting work ethic and a devotion to family. At age 15, Tom landed his first job, sacking groceries at Safeway for 65 cents an hour. At age 16, he was hired by Denver's Elitch Gardens, making 85 cents an hour and working 11 hours a day, six days a week. These humble roots taught him the value of hard-earned money and shaped his belief that people who earn their own money are the ones who should be spending it, not the government. For 10 summers, Tom worked his way to the top of operations at Elitch Gardens. The job paid his way through college, earning a degree from the University of Northern Colorado at Greeley. In 1970, at age 25, Tom signed his first teaching contract with Jefferson County Schools and was paid $6,000, roughly the same amount of money he made at Elitch Gardens in only three months of summer work. He taught civics and American history at Drake Junior High. That was the beginning of a passion he developed for education. Tom ran for the state legislature in 1976. He was elected and re-elected two more times. In 1981, Tom was tapped by President Reagan to become regional director for the U.S. Department of Education. During his tenure, the regional office's bloated bureaucracy was reduced from 222 employees to 60. In 1993, he took over the reins at the Independence Institute, where he focused the resources of that influential think tank on the issue of educational improvement. In 1998, Tom ran for Congress and was re-elected four times with wide margins until he retired in 2008. He made a bid for the Republican presidential nomination in 2008 in an effort to force the issue of immigration reform to center stage. It is our country again we're trying to save, and borders matter. Citizenship matters. I reject the idea categorically that there are jobs that, quote, no American will take. I reject it. Believing that amnesty is a slap in the face to every one of the millions of people from every country on the globe who came here the right way, Tom successfully forced every one of his Republican presidential primary colleagues to at least pay lip service to the importance of secure borders. In 2009, a series of unprecedented events occurred in the Republican gubernatorial primary that left Republicans with a candidate so flawed that even the state's Republican Party chairman referred to their nominee as an embarrassment and the worst candidate the party had ever put forward. So Tom entered the race for governor with only two months before the election as the American Constitution Party candidate. In a fierce campaign for the soul of the state, he received nearly 40% of the vote in a three-way race, with the weak Republican candidate receiving only 11%. The unprecedented turnout for Tom in such a brief campaign makes him the state's best hope to end the current out-of-control Democratic government that is, reshaping the very foundations and values to mirror failed states like California. With plenty of time and a wide range of support from all quarters of the state, Tom is poised to return Colorado to its roots as a state that believes in freedom and free enterprise. Indeed, Coloradans have a defining choice to make in 2014. Do Coloradans want to stick with the failed leadership of an out-of-touch governor? A man who has nothing but disdain for rural Coloradans, for law-abiding gun owners, for people of faith, for sportsmen, for energy developers who employ thousands, for parents who want a choice for their children's education, and for small businesses that are being crushed by the new state regulations and taxes a governor who rubber-stamped over 400 bills passed by a leftist Democratic state legislature and did not veto a single bill. Coloradans know that Tom Tancredo offers the promise of real leadership in a different direction. Tom has stood up to his party's leadership when it was wrong and helped lead it back to traditional conservative values that made America great 
and still resonate with Coloradans of all political persuasions. I believe the government is out of control, both here and in Washington. I believe that we must inject reason and common sense into the mix. Colorado's government has become an enabler. It encourages dependency. Far too many people now look to the government instead of their own capabilities. You know, George Washington once likened government to fire, something that can be extremely useful if contained, but disastrous once out of control. I promise that as governor, I will do everything in my power to rein in intrusive government and to set free the spirit that has made this state and this nation great.